Good evening, guys. It's uh, Darren from Jess Media. And tonight in conversation, we have uh, up and coming hard melodic band uh, Dead Romantic. We have Mike, we have Dan, we have Sam. Good evening, guys. How the hell are we? This is Alice, not Sam. Alice, but yeah. Sorry. See, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting confused already. It's now started. Fucking hell. Yeah. We're, we're great. <laughs> yeah. So, how have you been, mate? I haven't spoken to you for a long time. We've been good. It's We've been, been well. well. Yeah. I, th I think the last time, Dan, I don't think you were able to make it either. And I think you were probably better out of it because the, 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 the young whippersnapper was trying to hit me with the football banter, you know, so he got shot down. But that's all right. We had a bit of a laugh. Yeah, we know better. <laughs> I mean, who else can who else can have a 2 0 lead last night and end up drawing two all? What's all that about, you know? Fucking hell. Let's not talk about it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because obviously, yeah, you'll start talking about England and then I'll get all depressed and things like that. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's let's stick to the music. That's probably better. Exactly. Yes. So new single out. Uh, it seems to be doing really well. It's, it's done probably about seven, eight hundred hits on since I put it out on the website. So it's got a it's got a bit of pace. Yeah, I think we've. Uh, I think in terms of streams, we just like hit over like six thousand or something in the last couple of days, which is pretty nice. So obviously, people are listening, which is what we like. It's what we want. Yeah, as long yeah. as we're obviously doing what we're doing, something right. So. Yeah, and obviously you have a, a couple of new members to the ranks. Um, what was the decision behind that? What what did it was it to bring an, another sound, or was it just the fact that you were tired and pissed off for the last two, so just get rid of them? No, I think I mean we. Never, the thing is, is we we really didn't have a committed drummer, and I played drums on the record, so. Yeah. We, we, we're still in search of that member. So right now it's just hired guys until we find that, that member. Um, with Chris, it was just, it just, it just didn't work. Didn't work. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes things work, sometimes things don't. And that was one of those things that didn't. So now yeah. Alex is here and she works. And she's kicking ass. So we're all good. Yeah. I, 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 how, how is the dynamic changed from, the last time to now, um, th th this uh, obviously you've got the the real cool sampler, you know tones coming through the start of the new record, um, and it seems a wee bit more grittier than the last time, um, but and that's not taken away from the last records, but I guess it's just a it's a whole new shift in direction for you guys as well. I think as you as you write and as you work on songs and, and even sort of revisiting things, whatever, as the sound kind of molds and it, and it takes its own form and, and everything sort of works into a certain sort of place. And I think that's just where we're getting to. We're, we've, we're finding what we like, we're finding what works for us and we're finding the sort of dead romantic sound as cliche as it sounds. Um, and, and that's sort of where we're headed. So with the new single it's got this kind of like poppy intro first verse kind of thing but then we really amped up the guitars on the rest of the track and through the choruses and stuff just to give it that extra bit of grit which i think is awesome so i, I think like i say i think it's just a, a case of like how we're evolving as as artists and how we want to portray ourselves i think it's a process that won't stop either it's like as you do more songs you stumble up on other things and <clears throat> each song that we release is going to be slightly different than the sound of the last one it's just we have so many different influences that come from so many different places so it's almost you know one song might be super heavy and might one song might be a bit more poppy so those elements are going to be ever changing i think and, and as we grow that's still going to change more good i mean i think you know i think it, i think it, it's working really well um you know, and I, and long may it continue. So, on to when is the when are we expecting the album? When is this gonna hit our lug holes? And obviously, uh, uh, Alice is on that, banging away on the old on the old cobs. So, when are we expecting the album to drop? 
I think, I mean, the goal is for the summertime, but we haven't set a deadline date this time because we don't want to keep pushing it back and com commit to a date and then have to push it again. And I think right now we're going to keep on the tra trajectory of releasing singles until, because I mean, like there's, there's not a million dead romantic, well, there are a million dead romantic fans out there spread around the world, but there are no, we, it's not like we're a massively huge band that people just can't wait to have our record. And there's so many people yeah. that when we release a record, it's going to go platinum or anything. Right. So I think we have to be really cautious about just throwing it all out there to do nothing. So what we want to do is build our profile a bit and get more attention and make sure that we're able to tour and support it and market it and just keep releasing singles until that point comes. And then it's like, okay, well now the summer's here. Now we can go to her. Now we can support it. Fucking COVID's over. And, and now we can have fun with it. So I think that's been the for us. It's like, why throw out these songs too soon? And if, if nobody's really waiting for it, so it, which has been a good thing too, because of the member changes, because we've taken a look at our sound, we've written some new songs that are going to be on the record now. And, we might even get rid of some of the ones that were supposed to be on the album to replace them with things that are much more defined of our sound. So, you know, I guess, I guess it's probably just taking the time to get it right to make sure you put out the best records you can. And I know what you're saying, Mike, you know, you put some stuff out, you think mm, it could be better. It could have a catcher hook. It could be crisper. So I guess it's about, putting making it right and you know putting out when the time is right and also getting out there and, and doing gigging as well you've obviously got some festival uh, appearances lined up um is it, a, is it a case of you want to see the reaction when you're playing the songs before you put the album out or is it just you want to get out there and melt some faces I, we 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 just want to get out yeah man. i mean the reaction that we've had to the songs that we've played when we go out we play the album those are the songs we have. So those are the songs we play. Yeah. Uh, the reaction that we've had from the majority of audience that we've played, in fact, everyone who we've played for um, has dug it. So, I mean, I don't think we have to really... <laughs> I mean, we're still making a record for us. So yeah, I get like the testing the songs and see how uh, they, uh, that works for a lot of bands. But I think, I mean, really, we don't give a fuck that much that we we're going to write songs that we hope connect with people but we're still going to do our thing and and if people like it they like it and if they don't then we're we'll, then we'll be homeless but we'll be all right but at least yeah. we like. but we'll be yeah, homeless well, mate. you can come and you can come and you can come and stay with me mate if you get homeless but i don't think that's going to happen you know i don't know how you would fit in in scotland but you know we'll, we'll try and make it work I, uh, I did my ancestry there's some there's some scottish in there so I'm, i think i'm all right I think, Mike, I think there's some Scottish in everyone, and that's not a pun. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not a pun. So just take that, take it for what it is. You know, the Scottish in everyone. We just love everyone. You know, we'll take you in and we'll, we'll make you feel welcome, you know. So don't worry about that. When is it, are you planning to come to Scotland, Glasgow, Edinburgh? I had a tour book that we had, <laughs> Scotland dates, when we were super excited to play. Um, and that tour got cancelled because it was like kind of like on that brink of like, were they going to announce new restrictions? Yeah. And promoters were getting scared because tickets aren't just, you know, for, for non massively huge bands, tickets aren't selling pre sale tickets. So uh, I think the promoters and the agents made a decision just to hold off on those dates until after the shitstorm. And then, but yeah. yes, that's all. We want to play Scotland. We would play there tomorrow if we could. I know, I'd love to. Yeah, we have Scotland's a great place, you know, it's a great place. Glasgow, um, they love a good night out, they love a few beers, and they love to embrace new music, you know. So, I, uh, I guess that if you did come, you know, you would have a cracking night. So, let's try and make that happen. Let's 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 make that happen. Let's get you up here and there, let's see the action and just say to yourself, Thank fuck we came to Glasgow because the big man was right, you know. so you know, you need to get up here. Yeah. I can't remember what the venue was that we had booked in Glasgow. It was Glasgow was the date that we had booked, but I can't remember what the name of the venue was. Is it Attic or something like that? The, at, the Attic at the, at, the, at the garage. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little, um, it's a little, it's on top of the garage nightclub. It's got a lot right. of 
little bar and everything. A lot of bands hold after show parties and things like that there, you know, so it's quite a cool little place. So, but I'm hoping that the next time you come, you may find somewhere a little bigger. I think that holds about maybe 50. So, oh, 50. Oh, yeah, that can't be. Uh, yeah, it was bigger. It was, it was definitely bigger than that. I can't remember what it was called, but we'll come to Glasgow. We'll do it. Yeah, yeah, please do. Please do. So, Alice, how are you? How are you fitting into the band? How are, how are you finding? I say horrible things. Um, I love it here. I feel like. Where's her script? Get her script. Yeah, I've got like a little script. <laughs> Read it from the iPad. <laughs> Do not deviate. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I love being with these guys and, and working with them. Not to get too like soppy here, but it was really inspirational to me as a musician to come and play with people who are actually serious about wanting to get somewhere and you know we're willing to put the effort and the work in for it so it's just it was really refreshing and they're all right to hang out with so it's been, it's been listen cool. that, that, that that's your opinion alice you know i've, I've spoke to, i've spoken to this dude before you know so that's your opinion you know i mean i spoke to him how long ago was that mate probably about 12 12 15 months ago maybe 12 months ago yeah. last year yeah I know it was sunny out because I remember seeing a video and it was sunny. You had your sunglasses on. That's all I remember about it. Yeah, it's bloody snowing now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's snowing up here at the moment as well. So um, but you know, it's a, that, that's what we're used to, you know. It's uh it is what it is. But you know, it, it's good that you you feel you feel you've settled in fine. For the guys, true. yeah. I think we're quite accommodating. I think we're nice enough people. Yes, don't you know. Mr. Singers, maybe you would have expected something else. Yeah, singers are divas, Dan, you know, so we, 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 take, we take what we take. What we take. I will vouch for this because I've worked with a fuck ton of diva singers in my day. Dan doesn't have that at all. He might look it, you know. I look it, but, my, but leather trousers. He, he's a... Uh, <laughs> He actually, he actually really carry, carries his own microphone. Can you believe that? And oh, guitar yeah. equipment. And drum stuff. Yeah. I carry stuff. I don't mind carrying stuff. Yeah, Free we like work. that. We like, we like when you get you get mucked around about it, Dan. You know, you, if, if you're not a diva, that's quite cool because sometimes you get bands who, you know, the guys go, I, I'm the singer, I've got my mic, and I'm all right, you know, type thing. So it's good that you get mucked in because I, I'm sure Mike would probably kick your ass. No, <laughs> no, there's no, yeah, we're all, I mean, I think it's a really good fit. Everyone gets along really yeah. well and our personalities match really well. And that, I think that was the thing with before is that they're, they're, it's almost, it's like a marriage. We were saying in an interview we did earlier today that it's like, you, if you get into marriage and you're not dating, you know, you, we don't, we don't, you don't know that personality well enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that whatever's happening here is working really well. Right now, knock on wood. That's uh, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I think, I think that, I think, yeah, I think you're right. You know, I think you can, you know, and sometimes with reviewers and interviews and stuff, you can tell. You know, when a song comes out, you kind of think, yeah, it flows really well. It's got a good, good beat to it. You know, and I think that's what came across with obviously with my with my review that I did for you guys. You know, put my heart and soul in it. You know, because obviously I knew that. I knew that Mike would probably give me a bit of grief if I didn't. I say we appreciate it. I haven't read it yet, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna withhold judgment for now. Dan, how can you say you appreciate it you haven't read it? Fuck me, man. That's just not cool. I'm just, I'm sweating blood over here. Obviously, Mike knows my stuff. Mike knows he's 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 read all my stuff. I promise I will. I'll yeah, read I'm it. Sure will, yeah, I'll probably talk to you in 15 months' time and you'll go, do you know, I still haven't been reading that review and I'll be like, yeah, do you know what? You can fuck off, Dan. That's what I'll be saying. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it, 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 you know, the thing is, it's my pleasure to do it. I think when we get, you know, singles and albums across across our, our laptops and stuff, we, we always try to get, you know, to as many as possible. You know, Wes is a good lad, you know, and I always try and help him out. Um, and I was looking forward to it because, as I said, the last time Mike and I had a chat, we had a, we had a good laugh, sitting in the sunshine, 
you know, just having a bit of a giggle. And it's always nice when you reconnect with a band again that, you know, that you remember the kind of last interview you had, you know, and kind of what we spoke about and things like that. You know, obviously the boy didn't have a clue we started about football, but that's that's neither here nor there, mate. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> I mean, I will never forget that interview because that was the interview that we said bass players will not do interviews anywhere. But somehow she managed to wiggle in here. Did you not see me running at the last minute? It's because they couldn't say no when we were on camera. <laughs> I, I kind of, do you know what though, Alice? I thought, I thought, like being the newest member of the band, you'd be sitting waiting, you know, eager to get in front of the camera. And obviously, again, you know, bass players. Prima donnas, prove me right, where you took your time coming in. The two guys were here giving it, let's go, let's get on, let's talk some shit. And you were here, like, stoking about, thinking, hmm, you know. Just swanning in there. there. No, actually, swanning in here last minute. The in, in her defense, she was making us tea, so yeah. I'll, I'll, she's excused. The reason, the actual reason I was like, it was because I really had to pay. <laughs> <laughs> and... And, and my 200,000 viewers will now know that, Alice, and they'll be thinking, yes, yeah, she's probably quite cool that she can go for a slash before she goes on for an interview. I like that. It's like a reggae ritual. Yeah, you, you've got to do it. You know, you, when you've got to go, you've got to go. <laughs> what a way to interview. You can be like that band that we saw, like the Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, the brass <laughs> actually just, just, just peed on a fan. <laughs> well... I think I think I think Mike people would pay money to see that. So um if Alice is well up for it, then I'm sure people will pay to see that. We need to fund the rest of our album. We could have, you know, band only fans account. Absolutely. Or get someone to come round your house. You know? Wait, not talking about football now. Is it? <laughs> no. No, no football. No, no, no football, Dan, because obviously. You know, like it's a touchy subject for us Scottish guys. You know, we, we kind of we're, we're quite patriotic and we're quite proud and stuff like that. And then, you know, we have some of the best players in the world on our team, but when they play for the, the national team, they play quite shine. You know, so obviously, you know, sometimes you don't want to talk about it. Oh, oh, see, I don't. see, I know nothing about. I can't even engage in it. I because I'm football retarded. So all <laughs> I can talk about is guess. Yeah. Yeah. Jeans. Yeah. yeah, man. That's um my one of my one of my photographers when Kiss played the last show in Glasgow. Um he got this snap and he sent it to the band and they said, Would you send us a canvas? So they paid for two canvases, one for them and one for my photographer. And my photographer gave it to me. That's awesome. Seriously cool. So it, it's it's a it's a it's a hundred by eighty. It's a cracker, you know. It's a and everybody comments on it when they come on. Like oh, that's really cool, you know. Um, I have behind me, um, Mr. John Karabi. You may know him, Mike. I, I know John. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a good buddy of mine as well. I've interviewed him a bunch of times, and he's been in Scotland and stuff with the Daisies and on his own. And Mr. Robin McCauley. You know him? Oh yeah, no. You know, and uh, and Mason Hill, good Scottish band. Yeah, they're cool lads. They are. Yeah. Yeah. The drummer yeah. stays about fifty yards from my house. So. Oh shit. Yeah. So, so should... place when uh, when we're coming up to Scotland to play, we'll be crashing at your place. If that's okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's only fifty quid a night, Mike. So you don't want to bet it. That's doable. That's reasonable. You have to feed our our, our, our vegan our resident band vegan some haggis oh, stuff. That may that may be a problem, Mike. We don't do vegan, so you know, obviously, maybe <laughs> maybe Alice can go and live in a caravan or something, or like do a a B and B or something. Or we can put you at the back, Alice. You know, you can sit at the back and just chill, give you some uh, lettuce and shit like that, while we're all tucking into haggis and and stuff and drinking whiskey. I'll drink the whiskey. We're all <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're all vegetarian. We're all vegetarian and vegan here, so <laughs> well, you said, well, unfortunately, guys, you're all fucked because you can't come and stay in my house. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> it's it started so well and then it drastically went downhill there, Dan. You 
you, you, you were building me up thinking, yeah, we'll go and live in your house. And then you went, but we're all vegan. I'm thinking, fucking hell, it's just blown it. Yes. We don't need, well, yeah. need catering for well, he, he can, he can just say whiskey too. That I mean, he can live off whiskey. Whiskey's yeah. fine. Yeah, well, you, you, you come to Scotland, you come to the right place, we have cracking lots of whiskey and things like that. So, yeah, when you come up, come around the house, chill out, you know. Sam can be on, uh, Alice can be on time. Sam can maybe turn up. <laughs> <laughs> What's all that about? What, what's he doing anyway? Where is he? What's that? Oh, so you just said he had to go. Yeah. I don't know we had rehearsal right. tonight, too. He just didn't want to be there for that, you yeah. know. The keyboard players, but you know what? But we have a laptop, we can press play. Absolutely. <laughs> just, like, hey, yeah. He just looks hot and plays keys, kind of. No. He looks hot and he plays keys, Mike. That, that that's a that, that's a pretty good combination. He looks hot and he plays keys. I mean it's, what what more is that he say? No, no. Yes, Sam, yeah. Sam's a fantastic musician. He's a great singer. He's a good guitar player. He's a fantastic keyboard player. He, he knows exactly guy. what he's doing. And so. he's got great hair. And he's got fantastic hair. Yeah. Right. So, so here's the thing, right? You've just said he's a fantastic singer. He's a fantastic keyboard player. What the fuck do they need you two for? Who the fuck knows? Yeah. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose, I suppose, Dan, you're not a bad-looking dude, you know, and I'll say that myself, you know. You're yeah. not a bad-looking dude, you know. I appreciate it. I enjoy Thank your... Be- I enjoy... You. <laughs> okay, before this turns into uh, fucking uh, porn... Uh, <laughs> we can, yeah, Alice and I will step out and you guys can do it. <laughs> yeah, we... we, we, we Dan, uh, we'll get the groove on. You two can go and make some tea, and then you can come back, and then we'll be finished. A couple of minutes will do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so this is your this is your time to tell the world about the single, the upcoming album, where hopefully people can see you, and where they can buy your music. It's over to you guys. Single that's out right now is called All Talk, and it's in all streaming platforms and available everywhere except physical units right now. But we will have those eventually when the album comes out. Um, album is the plan, the hope. We have it in our hearts that the album will be out in the summer, um, somewhere in those that sort of June, July, August period. We hope. Uh, barring any kind of intervention from elsewhere. Um, We have some shows coming up. Um, So we're playing uh, Purgatory Festival in Chesterfield, which is in June. I have a list because I don't have a very good memory. Um, uh, Fuse Festival in Litchfield, which is on the 9th of July. We have the Rockmantic Weekender in Lincoln, which is on the uh, 19th of August. And then I believe Sound Bay Festival in Swansea, which is the 23rd of October. And a potential so, one in... And a potential one in like two weeks' time, which is in uh, Southampton, also the 16th of yep. next month, Southampton. I'm not sure that one's fully confirmed yet, but if it's anything to do with us, we'll be there We're and we'll there. be playing with it. <laughs> we'll be with it. the bells on, absolutely. And it is... <laughs> <laughs> you you turn up your little microphone, give the yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, just me. <laughs> so are you are you guys are you are you ready? Are, are you, we ready? Are, are you gig ready? Yeah. Always. Yeah. Or never. I was born ready. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, yeah. I mean, we're as ready as we're gonna be. We're, I mean, we're we could always be more ready. I guess for anything, but you know, we want to be well rehearsed for this, and um, I will see what happens. I mean, we will definitely be ready. At, yeah, at and least I, after the first show. Yeah, we'll do a tester on the first one, and then it'll be fine after that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's good. I think you know the fact that you, you you're rehearsing and you, and you you want to be out there, you know, it just shows that you're hungry to to get yourself in front of people. 
you know, which is a good thing, you know, and and hopefully, you know, you'll have more than your two and a half million uh, fan base for your last couple of singles. Hopefully, it'll grow and grow and grow. Um, hopefully, the album will be ready. I, I understand what you're saying about you want to make sure it's right. Um, and I think that's true with any musician. You don't want to put a, a half ass record that people go, yeah, it was all right. You know, you want to make sure it's the, the best it can be. And I guess that's why you're taking your time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Brilliant. Now, listen, it was great talking to you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got the chance tonight. Great to catch yeah. up again, Mike. You know, you're still as handsome as fucking ever. So, you know, you don't need to worry about that. Good to, Good to see you again. I'm and what glad we did. When you get when you get to Scotland or you get a chance to get up to, to Scotland or Glasgow, give us a shout. I'll come and hang out. We'll get some we'll get some beers. Um, yeah. I'll come and review the show. Um, we'll just have a giggle. That's great. Yeah, I can't wait. Brilliant. Good. Thank you. Thanks, guys. This is Darren from Jace Media uh, in conversation with Dead Romantic. Uh, we have Dan, we have Mike, and we have Alice saying thank you so much for your time. Uh, get rehearsing, get that tea down you. Uh, be good looking as ever. And uh, hopefully, I will see you guys in the near future. Anyway, you will. Hell yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys. Keep rocking. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>